the surprises have continued, even to the point where he qualified for state at 300 hurdles this year. He surprised me quite a bit with his um, ability to ask the right question in class. We, we want them to do that, to think outside the box, to the point that he has been awarded the National Merit Scholarship. He is the only one family of eight. He's an Eagle Scout. And he's going to be traveling next year to my alma mater, Wheaton College. <laughs> Your salutatorian, Micah Thompson. Speech. 
You are thinking the thoughts of great men who came before you. Or in the words of C.S. Lewis, standing on the shoulders of giants. You are seeing the world as it was in centuries past, long before the age of computers or social networking. And when you see the past through the eyes of those who have come before you, you return to your world with new eyes altogether. At Westminster, I believe that we are building up men and women of Issachar. Young people who understand their world with a perspective that allows them to discern the evil that surrounds them. The benefit of such discernment is twofold. On the one hand, we are able to abhor what is evil and hold fast to what is good. And on the other hand, we can look for ways to bring the light of Christ into a dark, depraved world. In the twisted, truth-deprived world we live in, our school is equipping men and women to transform society by providing them with the understanding of the times to know what Israel, the children of God in Christ, ought to do. The purpose for our study of classical texts and languages is not to walk away with mere knowledge, but to acquire wisdom and understanding. This kind of understanding has the power to change the world and bless the nations in the name of Christ. Let me pray with you together. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day, this wonderful day of commencement. I'm thankful for the many years that I and my classmates have had here at Westminster to learn and to become men and women of understanding who are equipped to change this world, to stand as, as people who are different. And I pray, Lord, that you would continue to make us so and help us to hold fast to what is good in the midst of a world that pulls us away from every place we turn to. So Lord, I pray that we would then realize this and turn to you in every situation and look to you for guidance and understanding in the years to come. God, I thank you for the teachers in the school and the, the wonderful love and, and just absolute servanthood they've poured out to us over these past years. I thank you for them. And I thank you for the parents who given us the opportunity to come to a school like this. And Lord, I pray that as we move on from the school, remembering the great, great, great experience we've had here, that we would not forget where we have come from and the God that we serve and the purpose for which we are created. So God, help us to continue to walk on with confidence in you and to bless this world in your name. Amen.